With crazed killer Mark Valera now sentenced to life in prison, the Wollongong community were hoping to rest at ease. However, that was definitely not the case. In the later part of December 2000, just two weeks after Mark Valera's sentencing, his father, Jack Van Crevel, was found brutally stabbed to death in his Albion Park home. With so much controversy surrounding Mark's sentencing, it didn't take long for police to raise suspicion of an inside job. Father's fault! I'll get you, Jack! I'll get you! He drove him to do it. He drove him to do what he did. He's the one that should be in jail. Although it wasn't a family member that dealt the fatal blows to Jack Van Crevel, his daughter, Belinda Van Crevel, conjured up a plan that would see her love interest and best friend of Mark, Keith Schreiber, end Jack's life. OK, Keith. Well, is there anything you can tell us about the incident that occurred last night with Mr Jack Van Crevel? I'm done it. And not only did he end Mr. Van Crevel's life, he did it in the most gruesome manner possible. After grabbing a tomahawk axe from under the property's pergola, he entered the house through a side window and proceeded to Jack's bedroom. From here, Keith raised the axe above his head, landing a lethal blow to his sleeping victim. All while, Belinda Van Crevel lay in bed in the room next door. How do you feel about your father's death now? Oh, I don't know. Um, not sad as yet, but it, it will happen. A young woman has faced court in Wollongong, charged with killing her father. Belinda Van Krebel grinned broadly when the judge handed down his ruling. After a full police investigation and court hearing, Belinda Van Krebel was handed a six-year jail sentence for her involvement in the murder of her father. While for Keith Schreiber, he was handed a life sentence with a 12-year non-parole period. 